Hey guys, it's Michael here. This is part three of a hydraulic log splitter video. I hope you enjoy. So right here I'm installing the hose barb that feeds the hydraulic pump. Here's the CNC cut path Dave drew up from the motor mount. Here we're cutting out the motor plate of a salvaged piece of steel. Alright, the motor plate's all cut out and it only took about a few minutes. So here we're using a small metal brake to add a little more strength to the motor plate. Now that we got the motor plate welded on, it's time to mount the motor and pump. This is a 13 gallon a minute two stage hydraulic pump suited for about a six and a half horsepower motor. Now that the log round support and the outfeed tables are on, we're getting pretty close to trying it out. By removing a few pins, the trailer hitch easily comes off the same as the outfeed table and takes up a lot less room in a shop. Most of these log rounds are Douglas fir, but there's a little bit of hemlock and some maple mixed in there. My friend and I spoke about possibly taking the straight blade and widening it so it's flared a little bit so as the log goes through it pops it apart, as most of them are like that, but we decided actually just leaving it a straight blade because it actually cuts right through the knots rather than binding up on them, it just shears right through them. So, it was a little try and true, it worked out, so we left it that way. Most of this wood is straight grained and fairly easy to split. We'll get a few knots on the next few pieces and try it out. Here's a pretty good knot on a piece of hemlock. We'll see how it does. I'd like to thank my friend Dave for donating a lot of metal and helping me build it. Also, I'd like to thank my other friend Norm for donating the cylinder. As you see, the knot actually kicked the pump down to the first stage, but never even came close to stalling it. The six and a half horsepower motor coupled with that 13 gallon per minute pump work great together. I usually only run about three quarters throttle to cut through big rounds like this. His last two cuts are on maple and it pops right through them, even with the knot on the second cut. Here's a list of most of the parts I ordered for the hydraulic log splitter. I figured these lists would be very helpful for anybody considering building one. Alright, we're just about to the end of the video here. If you enjoyed it, click like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more DIY projects from me. Thanks for watching.